Welcome to Land of House, I'm Seth. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that does not need fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. I was asked a question, is it possible to take the water that comes out of the waste valve and direct it somewhere else? The short answer is yes. The long answer I will demonstrate here in just a moment. Normally with the ram pump, you would have it installed in a creek, such as the way I do behind me over here. And the way this operates, water comes down a drive pipe, it will go out of the waste valve, slamming the valve closed, sending water into the secondary valve, building pressure in the pressure tank, and then pushing water uphill. When the water comes out of the waste valve, it normally just splashes out and goes to the ground or back in the creek, and it's done. But there are a few reasons why you may want to capture that water and send it somewhere else. With the ram pump, you oftentimes will see it installed out of the creek so that it will not wash away during floods or heavy rain. And so the water that spills out will eventually erode your bank, finding its way back to the creek. So you can take the water and pipe it back over to the creek and not have to worry about it splashing out around the pump. Another reason is if something downhill needs to have some water, a pond or uh, I don't know, whatever you need water for downhill, then you can capture the water here and send it back somewhere. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how you would possibly catch the water from the waste valve and divert it somewhere else. When you're working with the ram pump, you oftentimes need to access the waste valve. And that's because when you first start the pump up, you have to prime the delivery pipe by pushing this valve down over and over again until the pump starts to run on its own. And if for some reason uh, the pump stops and air bubbles get in here, you gotta hold down this valve to purge out the air. So the solution I have found is to install a T in this direction right here. That will go right into the waste valve. You just screw it into the top like this. And from there, you still have access to push down the waste valve. You may have to grab a stick or something in order to get down there to it, um, but that is going to allow you to uh, still use this, but the water is naturally gonna want to go down this lower portion here. So if I turn this on, you can see the majority of the water is going out this side right here. Now, some of it is still going out the top. That's fine, I'm gonna install this little piece of pipe here by just screwing it in and now all the water is going to go out this side over here. Now keep in mind every time you add height to the waste valve you are reducing your head pressure. So in this case what three inches not too bad but if I were to close this off and water came out the top it's going to reduce that head pressure by more like six inches here which is about three or four feet of lift. So keep that in mind. All right, so from here, I can then install a pipe to take the water somewhere else. So let's do that real quick. For this example, I'm using garden hose. The water is gonna be essentially under no pressure. It's just flowing downhill from gravity. And so garden hose, PVC pipe, or a poly pipe would all be fine to use in this, uh, this uh, use case here. I brought the wrong adapter, but uh, the other end would have been a lot easier to work with. I'm gonna get this garden hose, thread it in to this uh, standpipe here. All right, maybe that'll just do for the example here. I'm gonna turn the pump on. All right, water is starting to go out of that. Stepping down here to the other end of the garden hose, we can see the water that is coming out of the waste valve currently. Now, of course, it's going to surge, as you see, because the uh, pump is cycling or surging itself. But that is all the water that the pump is currently pushing out, and I'm able to use it down here further than my pump is located. So the pump is 50 feet away right there. Now, keep in mind, this is only going to work if the uh, pipe going away from the pump is always going downhill. If I were to raise this up a little bit above that waste valve, all the water is now going to be coming out of the top. So hopefully you can see that, that if this pipe, if you're trying to take this 
like over a hill, it's not gonna work. Now in the past I've seen where people have put the ram pump inside of a tote or tub to capture the wastewater, and then they pipe that water out of the tub to some other location. That works, however, it's kind of overkill because all you have to do is install a T with a fitting going out and it will capture all the water of the waste valve. So uh, it's just a method to get the water away from the pump, whether it's to get it back to the creek or to use that water somewhere else further down the line. Well, like I mentioned before, this is a ram pump. If you want to get one of these for yourself, I will have links in the description down below for the four different sizes that I sell. I'm Seth with Flanda House and I will see you in the next video.